Welcome back to the ladies drive in Chicago 811. How's everybody here? I hope you guys are doing pretty good. Got another great video for you folks. It's a short video, but should be a good one, folks. Should be a good one. Locating from a transformer. How I locate from a transformer. Where I hook up, where I ground out, and how I locate from um, a single phase transformer, folks. So give this um, video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment below. And let's get right into the video. Alright, we got this transformer. I'm gonna hook into this transformer. Our locate is um, way down there. So I'm gonna show you what I do to hook onto this transformer, how I locate this transformer. I'll first look at the transformer, expect the transformer, make sure I don't see no oil leaking, any fluids coming out, nothing that else like that. To make sure I don't hear no big buzzing, something that's out of the ordinary buzzing. I mean, the transformer will hum, and it's normal, it's humming, because it's generating, it's, it, it has power in it, so it'll hum. But when I hear any loud noise, or something that's really doesn't sound right, I'll stay away from this transformer. So I'm expecting this transformer. I don't see no fluids on this transformer. I'm gonna look at my disconnect numbers. So these are my disconnect numbers. I'm gonna see these, these dis disconnect numbers are on the print to match it up. And then my transformer number, Bravo 4. I go Bravo 4 here. Now I'm going back to my truck and I'm gonna identify if this is my transformer that's supposed to go down down that way bravo 4 i'm looking for so i'm gonna add up my disconnects and bravo 4 onto the print to make sure i'm on the right one and then after you look at the print matched up this this is confirmed this is the transformer i need to locate that way since my locates that way i'm going that direction with this transformer i'm i'm going to hook up my ground rod for my ground rod, somewhere like right back here. So I'm hitting something. I can feel I'm hitting something. It might have been a root. And I didn't go that hard. And I'm not pounding my ground rod in that fast. I'm going slow. Because I felt something over there, I stopped. I'm not, I'm not go pound on it to damage something. You know, I don't know what that's that. What they could be, it could have been a root. But how, how I do it with these transformers, power company likes likes to running straight out straight out of these transformers so i put my ground rod on a 45 of the transformer so i'm, I'm a 45 degree from the corners of the transformer because most likely it won't run out that that way it might come out and turn but it'll turn way before my um ground rod is hopefully so that's what I do. You just got to use common sense when, I, when you're out here. And what I like to do, I like to find something on this transformer to hook up. Something back here. Because back here is where the ground, the ground is. This door, yeah, it's door's grounded, but the ground wires are back here. That's connected to the cable. The cable's back here, plugged in on the back here. So, I mean, I use the hinge if possible. But I like to use these holes because I'm closer to my ground and I'm closer to the cable to get the best tone I possibly could with this cable. So I'm gonna put my transmitter as far out as possible away from my locates. And I'm going to hook up my ground first so I don't get energized when I'm hooking up to the transformer if that transformer's energized. After I ground my box out, I'm gonna test the transformer with back of my hand. Back of my hand, see if it's energized. If it's energized, my hand will be pulling away. Because if you're on it like this, and it's energized, you're glued to it. You do it, there's no way of pulling it. You have to break the ground. So I test it with back of my hand, so if this was energized, I could pull away. I hope that makes sense. So I'm gonna try this peak hole. 
This peak hole is closer to the ground strap. This is where they lift the transformer, take it out, put it back on. They put bolts in there. And I'm reading 100, 100 milliamps. Now I can't do it. I'm not doing a 360. I'm gonna do like a half a half a moon here, half a loop around this transformer. See if I can catch it. I got my All right, my GoPro, my girl GoPro fell on the ground. So the shit is over. So I'm gonna do my sweep. So I'm gonna find my cable right here. I'm 14, uh, 14 milliamps, three feet. So that that's about that's about right for my locates. So you can see, I completed. I did a half sweep here. To find out if the cable comes out this way and the right away, over came out the back end and fell out there. And it came out from the front here of the transformer. So you can see right here, it came out the back side of this transformer. Then it come on the angle, they came right out the front here. So it's looped back in there. So that's how the power company does it. They like it. They like running on the sides of the cable, not on the, on the corners, because the corners, they have their ground pad out here. They got a ground stake here, a ground stake here, and all four corner, corners of this transformer, they have a ground stake to ground out this transformer. So if this transformer wants to blow up or something, the force of the energy goes into the ground, into the earth. So they like coming off, off the 90s, off the transformers. And that's what this one did. It came out the back end into the right away and out. So that's how I do, that's how I hook up to transformers. I try hook up somewhere on the back side where the cables are, where the ground straps are. My ground stake is on a 45 degree angle of the transformer. And, and that's it, that's all I got. So this is a short video, folks. I hope this helps out. If it doesn't, and you have some questions, leave it in the comment area below. And I'll be more than happy to answer any questions, any concerns you have with power. Have a great day.